Whether you're an old pro at networking and dining out, or are experiencing dinners like this for the first time, dinner party etiquette is a skill you can carry with you long after you graduate from GVSU. Chances are you know why you're here. You're at a Grand Valley State University Scholarship Celebration Dinner. Please gather around the table here, and please spread out so you're not all sitting together. This is your chance to let your donor know in person how thankful you are you have received their scholarship. Don't look so worried. I'll tell you everything you need to know about meeting your donor. That being said, you should behave a little differently than if you were at the connection. Beginning with a proper handshake and greeting, this is your chance to make an embarrassing, acceptable, or even remarkable first impression. Simply stay seated or stand up, depending on the situation, and firmly squeeze your donor's hand while making eye contact. Don't forget to say your name, along with a warm smile. Show how happy your scholarship has made you. I can hear your stomach rumbling. That doesn't mean you can just hop up and grab the basket of bread from across the table. Sit back down. Kindly request what you desire, and it will be passed to you. There you go. Remember basic table manners. Do not use your cell phone while at the table, especially with your donor there. It's extremely rude. This weekend's plans can wait. Your attention should be focused on your donor and letting them know what their scholarship means to you. Look them in the eye and be engaged. Remember, you may be surrounded by your fellow students, but they're not the ones you're here for. This is not a matchmaking event. Now, for the part you may be most worried about, starting or holding the conversation. Don't worry if you feel intimidated or uncomfortable talking to your donor. One good way to break the ice is to get the donor to talk about themselves. Ask them about their career, their college experiences, or their connection to Grand Valley. You'll find you have plenty to talk about. If you realize you're out of things to say, just take a minute and think of another question. It's okay to have a break in the conversation. You'll find you have plenty to talk about. Don't talk about how you spent the specific scholarship dollars you were given, even though I'm sure you used them wisely. Instead, talk about the pressure it takes off your family, putting you in a position to work fewer hours in a job and more hours on your studies. Stay general. Also remember, you are not the only student there. It's not your responsibility to talk the entire time. Everyone should have a chance to say something. Everyone has their own unique story. This is a fun event. In the end, you'll be glad you came. Keep in mind, this night is about thanking donors for their support. Everyone wants to know they're appreciated. Well, that's it. Now that you know what to do, you're set to enjoy your evening. Enjoy this opportunity to converse with your donor. Good luck and have fun.